We've finished up our application in the last section. Let's now dive straight into the next app that we're going to work on. Now I'm really excited about this next app that we're going to work on because it is a very useful little piece of software and it's something that I've actually used quite a bit myself. So I'm really excited about this one. Let's talk a little bit about what it's going to do and then we'll look at some mockups for how the application is actually going to come together. After that, we'll talk about some of the big challenges of the application and figure out exactly how we're going to tackle it. Okay, so first we're going to start off by talking about what this application is going to do. The application we're going to build is going to be a video file type converter. So a user might come to our application with some input video file, like an MP4, an AVI, or an MPEG. They'll be able to run this video file through our converter that we're going to build, and then the converter will output the same video file but in a different format. So if the user puts in a video of file type MP4, they can convert it to a .avi or an MPEG. If they put in an MPEG, they can get out an AVI or an MP4. So essentially, video conversion. Now there are a ton of existing video conversion applications out there online, but a lot of them are either paid or they're embedded with malware or adware, some real nasty pieces of software out there. And so that's why I say that this is kind of a useful application. If you ever put videos on your mobile device, like for example, I've got my iOS device right here, iOS devices don't really support AVI file type, and so you end up having to convert them over to an MP4 or MPEG to get them to actually play correctly on your mobile device. And so really, this is quite a little useful piece of software that we're going to make here. Okay, so the conversion piece of this, like actually converting a video from one file type to another, don't worry, we're not gonna dive into the actual like video codecs or anything like that. We're going to use an outside tool to execute the actual conversion process of the video files. What we're going to be doing is way more concerned with building the UI and wiring up all the different pieces of this application together. So with that in mind, let's look at a diagram of the application. Nice little mock-up. Okay, here we go. So we're going to have two separate screens to show to the user inside of a dedicated window. So this is like my dedicated application window that we're looking at right here. When a user first boots up the application, we're going to show them a big area on the screen with kind of a dotted line around it. And it's gonna say, okay, drag and drop some videos here or click to select some. So a user can presumably drag and drop a video file directly onto this application window and that will queue it up to be converted into some other file type. Now, once a user drops a video on here, the screen is going to automatically change into the second screen that we see right here on the right hand side. So once a user has queued up at least one video, they'll see it appear on a list right here. The user will be able to look at the details of the video file that they've added. So they should probably be able to see like say the length, they should be able to click a file or excuse me, click a button that opens up this video file in the folder that's located on, on their operating system. And I'm not really reflecting it in here, but we should also probably show a dropdown that will allow the user to select the video file type that they want to turn this thing into. Once the user has added in as many videos as they wish, so this is not limited to just one video at a time, they can add in as many as they wish, like so. So once they've queued everything up, they can then click the convert button down at the bottom and kick off the video conversion process. As the file starts getting converted right here, video conversion is rarely an instantaneous process. Usually it takes some amount of time, like anywhere from a couple seconds to even a couple minutes. And so as this video file is being converted, it would be really nice to kind of show a progress bar somewhere on here to indicate, okay, this video file is done, this one is halfway done, and we haven't even started converting this one yet at all. So it'd be really nice to show some type of progress information to the user as the conversion is occurring. Okay, so that's the application. There's definitely a lot of very small niches or little small aspects of functionality to it that we're going to take care of, which is kind of a running theme for this course. Now, this is another application where I've already taken the liberty of putting together a lot of the React side of the application or a lot of the UI side. Again, this is really a course about, uh, about putting together desktop applications, not necessarily about how to, to build web interfaces. And so I kind of took the liberty of putting this stuff together. 
So we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back in the next section and we're going to install a little bit of boilerplate and then we'll discuss what code we get inside that boilerplate package. So let's take a quick break, come back, take care of that in the next section.